Good day to everybody. Uh, that is me, Anthony Cross here. Uh, I'm gonna be a host for today's webinar, which is uh, devoted to the quite interesting topic, uh, like how to think uh, like like a millionaire. Okay, I decide to record this webinar to launch it for you guys uh, to understand how I pass through all the way long like uh, how I made my first uh, like very good result in the years of the trading which I passed through like seven and a half almost uh, eight years today I am gonna explain you what, is, what it takes uh, to become the professional trader what it takes to make the good results and uh, how to make it possible in uh, like to make in our daily life and so on and so on so after I think one minute uh, we're gonna start right now let's wait for for the traders to join our webinar as I uh, just started Okay, uh, let's start over. Uh, like the main reason why I decide to talk with you about on this topic is uh, I'm getting a lot of questions uh, about how I made my first million dollars, how I passed through all the way long, and uh, like in this format I will be able to answer on uh, all of these questions. So more or less, this webinar is gonna be less trading then uh, like I'm gonna talk with you to explain you everything and uh, I hope to help you out to determine uh, like your way of trading to change your mindset a little bit so uh, it's gonna help you in the future when you are making your own decision okay so the biggest question w which I got is uh, how many hours uh, I'm trading per day like uh, like to answer truly speaking uh, in the first years of trading uh, I was devoting too much time uh, let's say six hours seven hours per day it brought the result yes truly speaking it brought the result but uh, with the experience uh, I started to devote less time to the trading uh, because I understand that more or less uh, I know the direction of the trend and uh, I know how it works exactly uh, with the binary options with the forex 
so it takes time uh, with the time uh, your time of trading is gonna be decreased because uh, you will be the professional trader you will understand the charts after some time of course and uh, in the beginning you know I'm, I'm not regretting about the ways that uh, it took me so long uh, to become the professional trader and uh, I'm not regretting about this time like uh, to start with uh, I wasted a lot of time on the like self-educating reading the books articles about the trading uh, sometimes watching the YouTube about the indicators like uh, as for me uh, I regret about this because the most important into the trading is to have your own mentor and uh, probably most of you knows what does it mean uh, but for those who doesn't uh, you need to have the person uh, who is gonna teach you in the beginning how to trade what is needed on the market what is not needed on the market like without this person like I can tell you 100% it, it's hard to succeed like uh, I can count uh, on my memory less than 10 people that succeed in trading without any help without any mentorship uh, that is why I can tell you that it's a very important because the mentor can tell you what is wrong what is right you can learn from his mistakes as I, I used to do also after the years of trading when I decide to uh, work with the mentor like I understood that the time I was trading alone it was uh, first of all let's say waste of my money and uh, waste of my time of course uh, it was in the past nobody can regret about the past but I could save a lot of money for me even the 10,000 back into the eight years ago it was uh, like good money let's say like this but I could uh, save a lot if I would uh, decide to work with the mentor. So uh, the next, the next question: With how much uh, is the best to start your own trading? Like uh, it depends, of course, from your goals. Uh, how much you want to make? If you want to make. Uh, let's say ten dollars uh, per month you can uh, invest uh, I don't know the one thousand the five hundred uh, US dollars trade uh, with minimized risk and uh, so on and so on but for those who is looking to really change their financial situation change their life like uh, truly speaking the best is uh, to invest at least at least twenty thirty thousand US dollars uh, so in that case you will trade with minimized risk okay you will take uh, the higher trades you will have money to control to support your trading and uh, like as for me it even with the minimized experience with the good mentorship you can make a lot of money as uh, it used to, to be with me when I started with the good amount of money with the really smart mentor because I saw how he is trading how he is uh, really making money how he's doing analysis so it really helped me to to make my first first good profit in trading okay let us uh, see how this trade is going like as I told you that is uh, mainly I'm talking and uh, like I'm opening some operations because the trend is very good today for the euro USD okay let me move on to the next question how to not afraid to open trade with uh, the big money <laughs> yes it's a really interesting question because uh, when I just started back into the years uh, it was it was the question which uh, were going through my head like uh, all the all the way long when I was trading alone uh, to have the courage uh, like uh, let, let us think logically 
I feel courage right now because I have a lot of money. Okay? Like truly speaking, when you have money on your account, you have the courage. If you would open the trade even with the one thousand uh, dollars, you know, you know, even if it's not gonna be in the profit, you have more money to support to cover up the trade and move forward. Like courage comes with money. The result, the good result in trading, once again comes with money. Like uh, that is the kind of uh, business that we are running right now, which all the time involves money. You can make here tons of money, but you need to understand that uh, with uh, ten dollars, with twenty dollars, with two hundred dollars, it will not, it will not change your life. It will not change your financial situation, and. Uh, you you cannot let's say make uh, even in the, the couple of years from the uh, trading with this amount of money, which is uh, I consider not to be uh, not to be safe with ten twenty twenty two hundred dollars. It's not safe trading as for me. With the big money comes the safe trading, comes the higher opportunities that you can open with uh, your account balance. So, the good trading depends from the good amount of profit. Okay, let's move to the next question. Uh, it is devoted to the news, uh, as I see. Like, uh, like, let me clarify this question to the another, because I have correlated couple of. Uh, so, what I mean, the news are important. Like uh, for some traders, the, if they see the news, it's a good indication for them not to trade, let's say, on the euro or on the, the US dollar. Okay, uh, but everything comes with experience. When you are becoming more educated about the financial market, uh, you can open the trades even regarding the news because you know how to analyze them. You know how to take your gold out of it. We can take NFP. We can take some other. Uh, earning opportunities but the most important everything comes with the experience and uh, if you are already started uh, to trade your own trading way you don't need to be afraid of the news you can still make money on it just uh, what you are doing you are reading them that's it after this you see the result of the news and you are choosing the direction for buy or sell up or down Simple as that. So, like uh, to sum up everything, news are good for non-experienced, for the experienced traders. For the non-experienced, uh, it's a good sign to not trade on the sum. As for the experienced one, it's a good sign to determine direction of trend uh, regarding the, the news, the result of the news and so on. Okay, let us move on. Okay, the next question. Okay, so what I see it's uh, the question from uh, majority of the traders also. The question is whether it's better to keep uh, money in the bank. Uh, like uh, as for me, I, it was uh, like a nonsense question, but uh, still I see that everybody asked that and. Uh, like I decide to take it to our webinar like banks uh, are making money out of you guys like it's not the secret everybody is making money out of the money but the most important here in financial market you can make uh, you can make up to 100% of what you invested 
okay into the bank let's say you put uh, 100,000 okay under deposit into the bank they can give you like a funny percentage per month or per year it depends from how how long you you taken this uh, deposit with the bank like uh, they are making 10 times more of what they are going to pay you in the financial market the things are different what you earn what you analyzed that is what income you deserve if you analyze good you deserve the good income the bank bank doesn't deserve this kind of income that they are getting out of your money so the point is the banks are just hustling on your own money they are paying you small small benefits small interest out of it and uh, due to the inflation yes and uh, like change of rate interest you can even lose into the bank not make even this uh, small percentage so what I mean you are here to do what you deserve to get the income what you deserve the banks don't do not deserve to keep your money so what I'm telling you is to invest to start trading and get your own benefits not let the bank get benefits instead of you because they will do this uh, definitely like uh, ask uh, you maybe you have the bank manager or investment manager as friends ask them what they are doing with your money and how much they can make in their church they have the billions the billions of your money and they are making 10 times more than uh, they are going to pay you here everything deserves everything depends sorry from what you are doing and uh, from the amount of money that you're gonna start if you deposit more you get more if you deposit less you get less I'm working with uh, a lot of uh, traders in our company and uh, like truly speaking I, I'm happy that uh, in our broker into the Finmax we are having a very motivated traders uh, that deserve to make a lot of money because they're making the right decision to come to the financial market as I have made my decision back into the eight years ago almost uh, when I was working as uh, the teacher in Bulgaria I have made my decision that is why I'm in this position where I can operate with a lot of money okay uh, like I hope I answer uh, the question about the banks Okay, let us uh, move on. Give me a second. okay let us uh, move on to the new question uh, does the risk management helps to make money and uh, if you are using it yes of course I'm uh, I'm using the risk management and uh, 
I think I'm recommending to everybody, to the person who is trader, which I know, to use the risk management. Uh, guys, it's uh, it's your own money, and uh, you need to be you need to be smart. Let's say uh, you have on the account one hundred thousand um, one hundred thousand dollars. Like uh, I am, I'm using the thirty percent out of this money to trade with, and the seventy percent I'm using uh, to support the trades in case of something I can cover up with that money I can uh, use this money to make one more trade okay that will bring in uh, will bring me more the risk management matters a lot like I am the conservative trader and uh, this is why due to the amount of money that I have and I used to have in the past when I started I am not the trader for for one year, for I don't know, one week, one month. I am the trader for the long term. That is why I have stayed into the market for first, second, third, fourth, and so on and so on. That is why I stayed into the market because I use the risk management and uh, also I had the good amount of money on the account when I started like work smart. So I hope I answered this question and uh, like to sum up the risk management, uh, it matters a lot for me. Okay, I think uh, we have more time okay, to open some operations and uh, then I'm going to sum up everything. To sum up everything. Uh, what it takes to be good into the financial market first of all you need to have the courage to open trades not to be afraid because the one who is afraid uh, afraid he will never make money in financial market the one who is gonna wait for something he will not ma make money in financial market the person who is uh, getting to the boat opening the trade and then sees the result the person like this is going to make uh, money into the financial market like surely like uh, the mentor the good mentor which uh, in Finmex we are providing to everybody the good mentor I is matter a lot like uh, maybe it's tautology but it's like this without the mentor you will not learn from uh, somebody's mistakes you will learn from your mistakes and mistakes sometimes uh, they cost money so what I'm thinking about is better to save up money and learn from the somebody's mistakes and uh, the third one that is the effective amount of money that is the one which is matter I think the most because with the more money you're taking less risk you can open more trades and you can gain more like uh, that is the three three aspects of uh, becoming the successful trader that is the most important as for me and uh, to sum up our trading here uh, I see that uh, today I was opening the trades only on the euro USD so the statistic is uh, uh, like we are in the money we say this and finish this session with the successful rate okay but uh, the most important for you guys is uh, never be afraid okay and uh, trade as much as you can right now because 
with ex with practice everything comes with practice uh, if you are looking to be the professional and the rich person in financial market uh, you need to practice a lot you need to have enough money on your account not to risk a lot and follow the risk management that is uh, what I suppose is needed to be told to sum up everything what we we discussed today okay uh, so I'm going to finish this uh, webinar on this note and uh, I wish to everybody the good evening and see you in the next webinar